big in the modding JTAG RGH big scene right now. Um, it's the Atlas project. So basically, my personal opinion, you know, it couldn't, it, it might not be correct. It could just be, you know, whatever. But you know, it really the facts all point towards that this is basically a big scam. They act, I mean, I do believe personally, after viewing their live stream, that they actually got their gatehouse online. But seriously, who would pay $1,500 to buy a quote unquote special, uh, special console that all it does is ha have the code uploaded on? It's nothing, they didn't change any of the hardware. All they do is they send it to their, uh, servers and then their servers uh, become like the servers allow people to go online um, as soon as they pay which I'm never gonna do um, but if you see IHC James's post he says I'll, I am making this post for a friend the app this product does not require any special hardware to load and pull to get you to buy their consoles so they can make as much money as much money possible for work they did not create. Gabe un underscore K will leak this project if anybody attempts to sell it. So, <coughs> yeah, I personally think that the, I don't think um, Gabe K will leak it. Um, well, he will if they if that this project is goes live. He will pay for it. But um, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be a big. Yeah, I don't think the Atlas Project will really go, because the Atlas Project is really a feeling in itself. It's just a way to get scammed people from taking, just a way to take people's money, and it's really dumb. And I hope nobody ever does it, even people with the money, because I don't know people that have $1,500 to buy a special console that has nothing on it except patches and stuff like that. And just to do it for like, an hour or two, then I have to pay another like $100 to get back online for like another hour. So, <laughs> it's really dumb. Um, yeah, I hope you guys never do this ever seriously. It's just so dumb. I mean, think about it. You're just giving them so much money, and according to IHC James and Gabe K, it's not even their work. They just stole it and then, yeah, it's really dumb. I don't know how they would have got the work though. I don't know how they got their GTX online. Apparently, Gabe K and IHG James know because IHG James has them online already. And there's a lot of people that have their GTX online. And that's no surprise because people are really good coders and stuff. But the average person doesn't. And then if someone leaks it, then everything's gonna go to hell because I mean there's gonna be a bunch of lobbies and stuff. I mean I enjoy hosting MW2 lobbies, but I mean you can do that without your JTAG online. So seriously, um, and JTAGs that's not the only thing they're for. They're for like you know they're for homebrew, which is the whole JTAG thing. You can get games for free, you know, it's all that, and if they come online, people are going to use them for lobbies, and you don't need JTAGs online for lobbies, you can do that yourself. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I do think it would be cool to get online, I just don't think you should ever do that Alice Project, ever, because yeah, it's just a big scam. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys never do this, and I will see you guys later. I will play a link to the video of Gabe underscore K exploiting the Atlantis project and I'll send you a link to Seven Sins where the actual post where the post was made. It's also on TGG but I found it on Seven Sins. So yeah, um tell your friends that this is fake and never do this. Not, it's not fake, it's just a scam. Just take your money. Yeah. They don't you don't need special hardware, it's just piece of code that they put in and it bypasses. So yeah.